To understand how hair is lightened, we first know that it must swell. Then it oxidizes. It's important to know that the word oxidize means break apart. So it breaks apart the protein and the melanin. I'd like to think of this as, as a bang. Note that ammonia-based lighteners are more aggressive in swelling the hair and create a bigger bang, eliminating more protein and creating more free radicals. Upon oxidization, free radicals form and cloud the cortex of hair. This clouding prevents maximum color shine and radicals cause color fading. How color is deposited? First, a space must be created within the hair for the color to form. The hair swells. The hair then oxidizes. Within this space now, again, you have free radicals, which are clouding the cortex of hair. The clouding prevents maximum color shine and radicals cause color fading. Fading occurs as radicals break the color down. But now, how does the color form? What happens is in this space, you have diintermediates and couplers, which are very small molecules. They attach to one another and they actually form the color. It's trapped within the hair within traditional color at this point. Ammonia creates a bigger bang, creating a larger oxidized space. Thus, it fills with more color and it results in a solid flat gray coverage. In ammonia free creates a smaller space providing for dimensional natural gray coverage. On tone lightening. A problem with ammonia and many high lift lighteners is that they deposit residual chemicals during the lightening process. This provides a brassy tone over the natural underlying pigments. Solution, pure blonde ammonia-free lightening with natural babassu oil delivery and ECA are free of residuals and lighten on tone, exposing only the natural underlying pigment. 